Once again, many thanks for joining us on KTN Weekend Prime, the point of news. Let's get started with a section of Jubilee leaders who support Kenya's position on the formation of an East African Court of Justice and Human Rights. Kenya was the first to sign the Malabo Protocol, which proposes the creation of the court with President Uhuru Kenyatta pledging 92 million shillings towards the establishment of the court during the just-concluded African Union Summit. Now, led by Senate Majority Leader Kithure Kindiki, the leaders, the Jubilee leaders, say an African court to take over the mandate of the International Criminal Court will better solve African issues on African soil. A lot was on the agenda of the 24th African Union Summit in Addis Ababa, including the Ebola outbreak and terrorism by Al-Shabaab and Boko Haram. But for the Kenyan delegation led by President Uhuru Kenyatta, something else appeared to be of much interest. The establishment of the African Court of Justice and Human Rights. Brothers and sisters, to join me in ensuring that the necessary ratifications are in place and the resulting court is fully owned, financed and driven by Africa. The establishment will have to be supported by all 53 African Union member states. Back home, the proposal is already gaining support. We want to support our president that we need to have African Court of Justice. We support Musimama, your president, Ambaya Lisema Jana. We will support it financially and even politically to have an African Court. Tunaunga mkono ule uamuzi umetolewa kule ya disababa na mataifa yote ya muungano wa Afrika. The African Court of Justice and Human Rights it is envisaged will be an alternative to the International Criminal Court. Ukiangalia judge pale kwa ACC ni Mwafrika. Ukiangalia ile prosecutor ni Mwafrika. Kwa hivyo hiyo koti kwa nini zetu Afrika tu tusiwe tena mbali sana. That is why we are saying let us build an African Court of Justice. Already, there are moves to pull out of the International Criminal Court. The National Assembly in 2013 approved a motion to have Kenya withdraw from the Rome Statute, the treaty that established the ICC. 34 African countries are signatories to the statute. We are supporting the pulling out of all African countries from the Rome Statute that establishes the International Criminal Court. Wacha tuwache wazungu, waendere na mahakama yao. And that is the position. Kenya was the first to sign the Malabo Protocol, proposing the establishment of the African Court of Justice and Human Rights, and will be hoping that AU member states will make the proposal a reality.